Tamara Chambers. My name is Taylor Chambers. And this is Tamara Just Saw with Taylor as well. <laughs> New intro pending. <laughs> we just went and saw La Llorona. Woo! And is that what it's called? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was like La Llorona. La But La then it was. I've like, been singing My Sharona. And I think that's got me messed up. La Llorona. Yeah. Llorona. No, Llorona. Llorona. Because it's the two L's. Took three years of Spanish in high school. Nothing. Got C every time. <laughs> <laughs> or worse. I should have failed my second year of Spanish, but that was the year I got hit by a car. And so all my teachers were like, you know what? You're good. We're probably going to spoil a few things in this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's La Llorona, and we saw it at 11.30 a.m., so what are you going to do? <laughs> La Llorona! La Llorona! <laughs> <laughs> she, like, swings in. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to put... Uh, Velma bangs on for this. It's really backfiring on me, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. So we're just going to tuck them behind the ears and pretend they're not there. La Llorona. We just saw uh, La Llorona. La Llorona. It's really, there's little things, little people, <sighs> tiny house, something like that it came out this week as well. But this was the one that I was more interested in. And so I went in excited because I really love horror and I really love the Conjuring series, which you've not seen any of. No, I thought this was a foreign film when you told me what we were seeing, and then Velma showed up. <laughs> I was like, ah, no. Oh, it sure is not. I love the Conjuring series, I love horror, and this has gotten such terrible reviews. I read a few, and I looked on Rotten Tomatoes, and people were not having this, this movie, no, no. I gotta say, not as bad as people are saying, guys. Yeah, not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I didn't even read reviews, and I was like, ah, it's probably gonna be a generic scary movie. For sure. But it, it was fine, it was good. You gotta go in being okay with jump scares. Yeah, for sure. It was a lot of jump scares. It was almost strictly jump scares. Only jump scares for the horror. Yeah. Bits, for sure. I really enjoy jump scares if they're done right. I think that they relied way too heavily on them, but I still enjoy them. They were still, it, it got the scare across. Because you expect the jump scare at this point. Yeah. But right. they're still gonna do the jump scare, so they can't just do it. So now they're starting to like tease you with it. Yeah. So they're like, it's gonna be a jump scare, and they're like panning slowly, but then nothing happens, and then it happens right after that or some shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's all about delaying the timing of the jump scare. Playing we all with know the, the expectation jump like it's coming. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah. <laughs> Which I like that. I like the jump scare format. I know a lot of people don't, and yeah. I respect that. The script for this was ridiculous. Yeah, it was... Mm. There was some really <laughs> poor writing in, in this whole whole endeavor. The acting, though, almost almost made up for it. I think the acting... Right, it was good. Maybe outside of the um, special priest guy. Wait, which priest? The second one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Not he, what he left Both the priests truth. were kind of weird. Both of the priests were But definitely. like, yeah, the second one literally sounded the same tone every, for all of it. Yeah. All of, all of it. And he, and he had the only comedy and the com yeah. comedic, <laughs> comedic lines in the entire so movie. And I'm really glad they didn't try to like shoehorn in comedy into this because it did not call for it. But this guy had some like tough guy comedy lines, like two or three. And... <laughs> He just had no difference in his tone, which I don't know, could have maybe worked for someone else, but it didn't really work here. I think that, I don't know her name, but Velma, she ruled. She had a name, didn't she? Oh, in the movie? Anne? Anna. It was Velma. It's Velma, Jinkies. They were watching Scooby Doo. Yeah, that, in I the noticed movie. that later. I was like, oh, it was Scooby Doo, of course. Yeah. Oh. Overall, the like folktale-ness, folktale? Yeah. Folk folklore? Yeah. What is it called? Folk, I think that. Folk, folk, uh, the. Folktale. Folktale, right? Folktale. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that all really was creepy and like, I think they did a good job showcasing it because it's an actual like legend. It's that she drowned her kids in a fit of rage because her husband cheated on her and then it w immediately just shrouded in guilt, she killed herself, doomed to forever walk the earth and try to replace her children. So she takes other kids and tries to drown them and Sure, that's effective. We get a lot of up close looks at her, and I've definitely seen worse. I think that it was effective. I like that she had like a moment of softness to. Um, it's like a grand return to like it's some kind of plot. There's a word for it, probably. Whatever. <laughs> it was the moment of like, oh, it was like humanity. It's like the yeah. last bit of there in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this is what cost it all. Brings her back. Yeah. yeah, it was. It was really nice. I will say this. 
I know this was set, I think it felt 70s? 70s-ish it was set? Yeah, I don't know. Because those TV shows they were watching all were real dated. It was like Leave it to Beaver. And the TV Beaver. <laughs> Leave, it to... <laughs> Leave it to Justin Bieber. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. Well, the TV and the cars were all super dated. I think it was 70s cool. is what I want to say. Yeah, it didn't, feel, it didn't feel modern. Yeah. Are there no light bulbs in the 70s? Yeah, like there's like one light bulb in that one closet. It was so <laughs> insanely dark. The entire the movie was so dark. It's hard to see. Uh, yeah. Start to see what's going Can't on see lots anything. of times. And that wasn't so much scary as it was just like... Disorienting. Like, hard to follow. So yeah. that was a bummer. Also, I kind of wish it was set in Mexico. I think it would have been like kind of cooler and more stylized. Right. It was a really pretty set and they did a, a good job with it. But it was just kind of something like, okay, well, we've seen this a million times. And like the, the folklore is from the Mexico. Yeah. And it would have been cool to be like stylized in that. Yeah. would have added to it. Um, but some, it wasn't like bad, not. Put some culture in there. Yeah, it would have been. <laughs> it would have been really cool. The the biggest plot device that they used that they shouldn't have used was not miscommunication. And listen, miscommunication happens for sure. That's fine. It's nothing to right. you know call home about. But it just seemed like the characters in this movie were really stupid. Yeah. Like, like on purpose. <laughs> they didn't communicate so much. They went out of their way to not communicate. Like she, the daughter has this crazy burn on her arm from La Llorona and the mom's like, what is that? She's like, I fell. <laughs> uh, and the mom's like, oh. Okay. Cool. And just like passes That's over. Fine. It's like, well, weird. And some ex the exact same marks are on the, the son's arm as well. It's like, what happened? Oh, nothing. And, like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And Better then, not do anything about this. Or investigate further. <laughs> and like, you can tell the actors were so stunted by that. They they tried their best to act their way and make it work. Right. The lines they were given, which uh, sucks when you ask that. Of I just actors. have to drop this now. I they, guess I have to. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> like, it's I, like, oh, okay. It's in the anyway. script. So, they clearly, in other aspects of their life, weren't that stupid. And so it just feels really out of place. Yeah. It's like they're picking and choosing when they're paying attention. Yeah, and I don't know about you, or I don't know about other family dynamics. I would say that, you know, we didn't have too much communication growing up. Yeah, dude. But I think if I would have seen a woman in a wedding dress who burned my arm, I, I think I would have something. said something about yeah. it. Yeah, especially if someone, like, like what else am I going to say about the burns on my arm? Like, yeah, I did I it. fell. Yeah, I fell. <laughs> Because, like, also, they didn't portray the family as having poor communication issues. So if they would have done that, it would have made sense. For a bit in the movie, it just kind of felt like it was, like, to get every single one of the, the three family members, the mom and the two kids, to get all of their kind of time with La Llorona, it was like a scene building up silence, building up to jump scare. And then, okay, well, she's seen it, she got the burn. Building scene, jump scare, burn, you got the burn. Cool. Building scene, jump scare, you got the burn. So then they all, collect, and it took like a half hour of our time. Yeah. And it just kind of felt like it was weird, dead space of it's like. Very repetitious and not very exciting. Because the beginning, I think until that started, until La Llorona was upon the family, the lead family, I think up until that, it was really interesting. The end was exciting enough to where I was like, I was in it. We started laughing at I lost it when the bitch went for her toy over the seeds. I couldn't do it. Like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? It was dumb as hell. Yeah. It was like, do anything do in your power to not break this she, line of seeds. I'm scared. I'm not going to get my toy. Instantly that wind, like, oh, you shouldn't have done that. It's like, you deserve this, girl. Uh, that's karma. <laughs> yeah. I guess I won't Darwinist. spoil this completely, but I think there is a a twist-ish kind of deal. Oh, yeah. There was yeah. a cool kind of twisty kind yeah, of deal. Yeah, I didn't deal. expect that. <laughs> that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. I think the ending bit, the climax was exciting. <laughs> it was good. She has an interesting journey. <laughs> <laughs> she really does. Because she, like, gets out, and yeah. then she comes back. She's going to jail now. Well, yeah. She just got out of jail, and then she's like, you, "But what I could do to get back in? Get <laughs> I could, how do I get back as fast as possible? I could shoot this guy, and then I Break could stick this house. La Llorona onto this woman who's only done me good. Well, until she suck La Llorona. There's a lot of sicking La Llorona on people. There were a lot of good aspects to it, and I think it's a lot better than people are saying. But also, yeah. you know, the script. 
So, it would have really been helped. Though, I will say, the, uh, the, the first priest who's still with the church, he's explaining what smudging is, <laughs> which smudging. is when you, um, you burn, what is it? I don't even know what the plant is. I don't is. know. But you burn it and then you, like, sage, I think it's sage? No, I don't know. Smudge plant. Um, smudge plant. But you burn it and it's called smudging, and he's like, it's a ritual called smudging. And <laughs> he said it in such a weird way. And I've never worn this shirt, but... Very, like, serious that. manner. You can't say silly words. Seriously. Sprinkles. Yeah. Yeah. How many hair flips would you give it out of ten? Six and a half, seven. Maybe seven. Seven hair flips. I think I would give this a... Yeah, I would say, like, a six I would give this. But I, I don't know. I still really enjoyed it. Seven hair flips, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to see what this looks like it's off of my head? Pretty tame hair flips. They're fake bangs. Kind of looks like a head crab a little bit. It's like a head piece. <laughs> you stick it on top of your head. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you next week with Infinity War. No. What's it called? Is that, game. is that next week? Yeah. What? I know. No way. Bye. Yeah, bye. Ike, are you scared of Lal Yorona? Are you scared of him, bud? Let me just drown Ike. <laughs> Don't drown Don't Ike. Don't drown me. <laughs>